Errand, are you there? Aloy! Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all... Uh, we're, we're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. I, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey! Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we going to do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith, Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I... Need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Hikaru. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenith. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. That sounded important. Over here, Aloy. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would Simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. 
Now he can always look out at plain song and... Further east, to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower, gathered its seeds, As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in the snow, still the sea rises as certain stone. From death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I'm with child, Evoy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. and watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... for not giving up on me. He always knew. Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance where Gala will never forget. Chill air is prickling my lungs. Gear later. I can do yours if you want. Yeah, of course. Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Okay, I need to find a sunwing to override. Better head up the mountain.
This will be my stash when I need it. Good. There are sun wings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. Tilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. There's a tall neck. Need to get on top of its head. Now, how to land this thing? Okay, Tilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good, and the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on Ahorus. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. the energy cell. Titan's back. Got the cell. Now onto the grove. This from Tomek should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. 
I should be able to pick up more from the Horus and fly to. Be useful. Even after I did with Ola. Over Chaplin. I gotta drop it now. Here it goes. your knees and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! <laughs> Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're on top of a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. Right? 
right. So that's how it's gonna be. Ends. Yeah, it is. I will rise above. Child of the weak.
I can keep going. Here I am again, on my knees before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead, run me through. Shut your mouth, traitor. It was you who flew in on the wings of the Ten. You who challenged her by our rights. You must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die, I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes, but there's another battle ahead against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people, a squad, that's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold, in the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there's something you both need to see. In the throne room.
He surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the Outlander who defeated Regala. So, state it. It's for her alone. From an interested party. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. May it keep you safe. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Xenus. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we're up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. Now that I can fly, I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. Stand up straight, Cabo. So, Aloy. You've added yet another deed to your name, and I'm guessing by the look in your eyes that you're not done yet. Not quite. Is there anything we can do? We owe you that much. After everything you've been through, you're one of the best people to support Hikaru's bid for peace. Not just between the clans, but with the Karja too. Then I will. You have my word. And until my last breath, I'll make sure the tribe remembers all that you've done for us. Uh, here walks an ally. Honoring so what an entrance, Aloy. Ateka, I figured I'd see you here. Of course. The Lowland clan fought for our own today. And like the day Hakaro conquered the grove, we stand victorious. I see the same look in his eyes as I did then. Hope restored. His vision for us and yours. He'll need your continued support, I'm sure. And he will always have it. Thank you for everything, Aloy. And so the wings of the Ten found us when things were at their direst. I'm not some legend come to life, Chitaka. That may be, but we will always be in your debt. The blood of the dead. Aloy, never doubted you knew how to make an entrance with that. Ooh, that was something else. 
Didn't think I'd find you here. You know, I just thought a battle that'll be sung about for generations wouldn't sound as epic if the desert commander were missing. I would not have shown the god of mercy but who am I to argue with the champion killer? So, Hikaru keeps his head on the And I hope I'm there to watch the his ass kicked. You've racked up a lot of D. Your part in today's battle will be recounted for years to come by me and all chaplains. I heard your brother had a mark from the pitmaster. Yeah, he won't shut up about it. One mark and he thinks he's good enough to challenge the employer. Make your plate full truth. There's no way My spirit sword disguise with you. The cool route was a real defeat for Regala. Good day. He died. I was scouting northwest of here, near the village of Saltbite. There's a place there where the ground is made of metal. Don't know what it means, but it can't be good. Be wary. Appreciate the warning. Ground if made of metal? By, you'll miss out on good Might be a cauldron. And when there's a cauldron, there's machine overrides. Mr. Know-it-all is here. You know, your focus, buddy, who never smiles. 
I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence, looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation, your plans for the Zenith base. You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again, at the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Oh, no. You first. Gotta get everyone in the control room, so Pope can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. You know, we've never played Machine Strike together. Oh, no. <laughs> I got enough trouble with Catalo, always kicking my ass. Aloy. It appears that we have some interesting new guests. I'm glad to see you're okay, though. I heard you gave the Tanakh something to talk about. I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling riding a Sunwing. Sorry to disappoint. Ready to head over to the Zenith base? Whatever comes, we will endure. Have you talked to any of our new friends? Erend and I tried speaking to Silence, but apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? How's Erin doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal, bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's definitely different. I have to go. I trust you to keep things civil around here? I'll make sure Aaron doesn't punch Silence in the face, if that's what you mean. Thanks. Aloy, you came back with some interesting friends. I wish I could say we don't need them, but Silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Even Regala. Yeah, enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right.
Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. So, Catalo tells me you flew. Well, that's new. I've been busting my bulks trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. You'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. With the Zeniths. Looking forward to it. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping he'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? After everything he's done? Sure. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. Do you think... so we'll be okay? I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. I can't tell you she's handling it better than I ever did. That keeps the rest of us level-headed. What's wrong with your shoulder? Yeah, it hurts a little. Yeah, maybe a lot. What'd you do? Well, I tried to arm wrestle with Catalo. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. I was just curious to see if that new arm of his was as strong as it looked. Turns out it really is. You, uh, talked to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, let's hope. You should know. Silence is involved with the Sons of Prometheus. He's the one who gave them the override tech to begin with. Why doesn't that surprise me? That's probably all part of some master plan, huh? At least we know we're good at wrecking those. Damn straight. I better get going. Oh, you know where to find me. Aloy. You... you flew? Cotalo told me! And took out Regala's machines? You know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. I saw we have visitors and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. Oh, and I wanted to give you this for helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Thanks, Alva. I'll put it to good use. So, all of the tribes here are new to you? Yes. I've been studying up on them. The most fascinating one thus far has been the Tanakht. An entire culture based on the holograms of an ancient museum. There's much they've misinterpreted. Not unlike the Quen. But still, there's a nobility to what they've become. They're honorable and fearless. And deadly. You sure you're okay going on this mission? I know things must be happening pretty fast for you. Uh, I've already braved oceans and madmen who thought they were ancestors reborn. Why not a few immortals with lethal drones at their command too? Guess the more the merrier. Wondering, is it really safe having someone like Regala here? She seems angry. The kind of angry that leads to murdering people in their sleep. Don't worry. We're going to point that anger in the right direction. The Zeniths. If you say so. I hope our new guests have been behaving. The silence. He's the one who built the weapon that can take down Zenith shields? He is. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer any questions about it. 
He refuses to dole out his secrets to us lesser mortals. Oh. You know that special part of us that makes us warm, kind, welcoming? Our spirit? Yeah. He was born without that. How are you holding up? Varl's loss is heavy on everyone's mind. I didn't know him well, but I can see how much he meant to the others. Zoe and Erend seem to have taken to it the hardest, but I don't quite know what to say to them. They need time to sort through it. And what about you? Will time heal your wounds? I don't know. I try not to think about it. We won't let the Zeniths get away with what they've done. Everyone's ready to take the fight to the enemy. And you? Nervous? But I'm ready too. Don't worry. We'll get through this together. Anything new around here? Kotalo showed me the schematics for his new arm. I recall reading about robotic limbs within the legacy, but I never thought I'd see one in action. Technology like that would be treasured back home. Think of what it could do for injured workers or soldiers. But knowing the Imperial family, they would use it for different purposes. Their own. Replacing body parts as they grow older. Like the Zenith. <sighs> exactly. I suppose you saw that Tilda is here. Our very own Zenith. I almost went up to her to ask her, well, every question I've ever had about the legacy. Every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one of the old ones. But now that she's here, all I feel is a vague unease. I don't know if I'm scared of finding out more uncomfortable truths or just scared of her. Probably both. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the Ancestors. The Overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons. But Pharaoh wasn't. Not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. The archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed, just to erase his mistakes. So, when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish, egotistical, cruel. But, in the end, it's not that simple. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. I wish Morquen could see that, instead of looking the other way, or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this Diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. For that, I thank you, Aloy. I need to wrap up a few things, but stay sharp. I'll be ready when you call. Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? All right, people. I need you up in the control room right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta. Gaia. 
Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones, scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You two? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right, but why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. <laughs>